this video we are going to meet sharp tools which will take your smart home to the next level coming up next hi this is Justin from simply smart where we make smart home technology as easy as one two three so if you're interested in smart home technology consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, we are going to take a look at Sharp Tools, basically introduce the Sharp Tools to you and show you how to set up your account. So the first thing you want to do is go to this web address right here, which is sharptools.io, and it will look something like this. Now, before we actually create an account and log in, I'm just going to explain what it is and kind of show you a little bit about it and then we're going to go ahead and create an account and demonstrate a couple things. So what is Sharp Tools? Well, it will help you visualize and automate your smart home. And it does that by connecting to either your Samsung or Hubitat account and you can create um, these awesome dashboards which will not only allow you to see your devices from across the room, but also control them with a simple tap. Um, it also has a rule builder built into it, um, which is pretty awesome. Now to connect um, everything is super easy, and we're gonna run through that coming up. And there's basically two main sections of Sharp Tools, the dashboard, which is the central place to view and control your smart home. And then the other part is the rule engine, which will basically take your smart home automation to the next level. And it is super simple to use. Um, they also have security built into it. Um, there is no complicated code to learn or even look at. Um, it's just very simple and easy. Um, anyone can use this telling you so let's take a little closer look at that this is kind of showing you how it looks super fast no code and works with smart things in habitat and here is the pricing so let's take a quick look at that so these are the two plans currently available and the premium basically includes everything shown here on the left so you have on un unlimited smart home hub connections unlimited device connections, unlimited rule engine automations, unlimited dashboards, unlimited dashboard tiles, unlimited calendar um, with a 30 minute refresh, unlimited news feeds with a 30 minute refresh, and SMS notifications um, in the US and Canada is included. Now the only differences in the free plan is you only have one dashboard they can have a maximum of 15 tiles and you can have one calendar that's refreshed every six hours and one news feed which is refreshed every two hours so you can see you get a lot in the free um, version and when you sign up you automatically get a 14-day premium trial for free now the supported devices it'll work on iOS fire tablets Android Mac and PCs. So pretty much anything with a modern browser, it's going to work just fine. And it also works with all of these platforms. So let's go ahead and get signed up. So I'm going to click on the sign up button. And I would recommend um, going to a browser and logging in using your Google account. Okay, so I have created a new account using Lyra's Google account. It'll automatically bring in your picture from your Google account. And then you also have an option to link an, an email um, and link your phone. So I would recommend getting those two things linked up. That way you have three different ways to log in. And you can also see that our premium trial expires in 14 days. So currently we do have the premium version. Um, now what we need to do is basically go to this manage connections. 
Um, and what we need to do is we're going to connect our SmartThings account. So we tap on SmartThings here. And you're going to be redirected to this page. What you want to do is um, from this drop down here, you want to choose your home location. And once it does that, it's going to load in everything from your home. And since I've already authorized Sharp Tools on our Smart Things, it already has items checked off. But what you'd want to do is go down the list and check off everything that you think you might use. So I recommend checking everything. Um, you can always adjust this later um, and then just click the authorize button at the bottom. And that is basically it. We are all set up and ready to start using the dashboard and rule engine. So when you go over to your dashboard, we have not created any dashboards, so it's going to prompt us to create a dashboard. So I'm just going to type in a name, our first dashboard, and click create. We have our dashboard created, but we have no tiles. So you have to add a tile to your dashboard, and you just click this plus button here. Now, these are all different tiles you can choose from. So what we're going to do here is mainly just focus on our things. So we're going to tap this, and here we have a list of everything that we've brought in. So let's just tap off a few of these. So we're going to do, we're in the office now, so I'm going to just tap on the office lamp. And you can see that a check mark comes in that's showing that it's connected. And you can see that it shows up over here. And currently my office lamp is on. Check off my office light, which is the light on the ceiling, and the lamp is sitting on the floor. Tap that. And let's go ahead and also add our weather station here. And that's probably good enough for now. So what you want to do is just go all the way down to the bottom and click done. All right, so we can see here um, that we have our office lamp, our office light, and we also added our weather here. Now, once you have these tiles in here, you can also rearrange them move them around so don't be concerned about adding them in a certain order because you can always move them around very easily just drag and drop now in the bottom right hand corner you can see you have a save disk so that would actually save the dashboard the way it is you have a plus sign which would bring up the add an item box so if we wanted to add something else we could and you have the three little dots at the bottom now the three little dots when you tap this you have save cancel full screen and configuration so if we hit the save button that is actually going to save our dashboard so our dashboard has been saved pretty much looks the same, um, but you can see that there are no three dots at the top here. So we are in basically the mode where you can actually use it. So when I tap this tile, it now just turned off my office lamp. You heard, probably heard the click of the smart plug, and now you can see that it is no longer glowing. Tap it back on and now it is back on. So let's go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on the three little dots and click edit again. Now you can see that we have the three little dots on each tile. So we can come in here and we have options. We can edit, we can change the layout, we can copy it, or we can remove it. So if we click on the edit button, now you have a tile editor pop up. And if we wanted to change the label, we can check off the label and change it to whatever we want. We can also change the dimensions. So say we want it to be one tall and two wide. 
and you also have the enable glow so we're going to click that click save now you can see that it's gotten wider now if we want to undo that and just use the default dimension I can uncheck the dimension we can also change the icon so we can change it to anything um, in this list here let's change it to a lamp and save and now it is a glowing lamp all right so we got it looking pretty good we have a lamp that looks like a lamp now let's move these around a little bit and we'll just hit the save button now there is um, a way to make this much better looking so let's go ahead and do that real quick just give you a sneak peek of how awesome you can make these dashboards so if you click on the three little dots at the bottom and click on configuration this is the configuration of the entire dashboard click on that so you can see that it's brought up um, our first dashboard um, we can change the size let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so let's override our default colors now remember this is for the entire dashboard and it's going to change the settings on this particular dashboard that we are on so our tile default color is gray so let's change our tile default color to green and let's make our active color solid green so you can see this one is transparent and this one is solid um, and we're not going to use a background color but let's choose an image so background image you have a couple different choices you have these three here that are already here to be chosen um, ready to go um, you have Bing the image of the day so this image would change every day and then images of the week it would constantly rotate images of the week so you'd always have a new look on your dashboard and you can also add your own media as well but we're not going to get into that in this video let's go back to Bing here and let's choose the image of the day and let's go ahead and save this and see how the look changes so now you can see that we have the semi-transparent backgrounds here so you can kind of see the mountains right behind this green and if we tap on the lamp again it'll turn on and turn to solid so now we have our very simple dashboard setup um, let's go ahead and create a rule now so if we go over to the rule engine and you can see it says no rules available so to create a new rule you just go over to create rule and now we just need to give our rule a name and the description so basically when we turn off the office light it will turn on the office lamp and we're going to next go down to the next section and we're going to set a trigger so the trigger in this case would be when we turn off the office light so we're going to say turn off the office light click on the plus you have event triggers and time triggers this will be an event trigger and we have a choice of devices routines modes or smart home monitor and in this case we just want to choose a device because we're going to choose the office light so now in this drop down you're just going to choose office light and then you're going to select an attribute so you can either choose the level or choose a switch in this case we're going to choose a switch and now you can choose the operator so we're going to say changes to and then you can say off and if we click save this is basically going to say when the office light switch changes to off it will start to trigger this rule so now the next section is the flow section so this is where things are going to start happening based on this first trigger so you click the plus sign here and we're going to do an if condition 
So under the if condition, you have the condition itself, you have an then if this condition is true, and you have an else if this condition is false. So let's just make this happen only when we are in a certain mode. So we're gonna choose an option and says is home save. So this rule will only run when this trigger goes off and we are in the home status. And then the next thing we want to do is when the office light turns off, then we want to do an action and we are going to turn on the office lamp. So we're going to choose to turn it on and we're going to click save. And if it is not in the status home and this switch turns to off, we're just going to have nothing happen because our else is blank. All right, so that is pretty much it. We are going to go ahead and save that. And now you can see that turn on office lamp rule is here. All right, so now let's test this out. So if we go back over to our dashboard that we created, click on our first dashboard here, we can see that our office light is here and our office lamp is here. So remember that how this works is when the office light turns off, it will turn on our office lamp. So I've just turned on the office light just by clicking on the tile. And now if I turn this off, it will then turn on our office lamp. So let's give that a shot. And there you go. So this office lamp, it kind of dims down, so it takes a little while to turn off. And then as soon as that was totally off, then it sent the command over to our office lamp and turned it on. And that is how um, a basic rule would work and how your dashboard would automatically update with exactly the correct statuses of the devices you have on your dashboard. So that is pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. Obviously there's a ton more stuff you can do in the dashboards, a ton more stuff you can do in the rule engine, but I just wanted to basically introduce this awesome application and I'm pretty sure that it will change your smart home for the better. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to head over to sharptools.io to sign up for your free account today. I'll see you in the next video.